hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i'm gonna share some details with you like how i have found canada changing in past 10 years as i have completed my 10 years in canada so i'm today i'm a bit nostalgic since this year is coming to an end and uh, i'm just thinking like how it has changed like is it the same place I arrived for the first time back in 2012? So before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. So guys, a lot has changed in Canada in every aspect. In 2012, when I came, that was the first time I arrived here in Canada and I was very happy. That was the first time I did an international journey all on my own. And the moment I had come out of the airport, I found the surroundings were different. I went to an officer and then I was directed to immigration and then I mean immigration customs and I was out with my work permit back in 2012. When I um, came out of the airport, I took a taxi and uh, it was amazing experience back uh, over there like uh, when I was wa when I was going through the taxi I was clicking pictures of the surroundings I was finding it completely different different kind of architecture different kinds of home broad roads because I came from India and India is like a very populated countries so you don't find such huge spaces without people walking on them or something definitely like it appeared to me that i have come to a different world altogether that was my first impression when i reached the place where i had to go everything was arranged for me by my colleagues who were already here and the first question i asked them how i could be permanent so during my uh, taxi journey itself i had decided to be honest with you and it took years before i got it but fine i have described my story in other videos so i won't go into that but uh, apart from that few things i had noticed in canada like pe during those days people were very helpful like you go out for a walk suddenly somebody comes in front of you and says good morning good evening people used to greet like that even to strangers it does happen nowadays too but it has been reduced honestly because of various reasons like people don't value these simple uh, greetings like before and recently like there has been some crime so people are somehow avoiding contacts with strangers uh, that was the first time i saw it happened to me like all of a sudden somebody came and said good morning good afternoon it was all happening around i, I found that uh, kind of environment and people used to hold doors while you are coming uh, behind so that you can enter a building or any place this kind of culture still exists but again it has been reduced no doubt when i was going out to the traffic if there is a signal you have to follow the signal if there is no signal still uh, motor drivers used to give passage to uh, pedestrians like as a pedestrian you used to feel like king uh, real king uh, but considering uh, increasing number of accidents and increasing number of pedestrians dying uh, still you don't feel like that anymore so i do see like a lot has been changed in every aspect i would say changed like canada was not so expensive then like i used to uh, rent a one bedroom apartment in just uh, 900 dollars back in 2012 when i had a full-time job so it was not expensive for me at all for my internet i was paying 50 dollars around for phone it was paid by my employer so although i had like package of 45 dollars it was paid by employer so 
no worries then uh, my rent had included water electricity like utilities everything was included i was not even asked to buy tenant insurance so it was a very good deal i got such deals do not exist anymore in 10 years if you go and see uh, the rent for an average property in toronto it's about 2000 2400 something last month average again it varies a lot and i was not exactly in the downtown but i was within toronto area in outskirt towards scarborough i was so uh, i mean i uh, found lot of uh, changes over there like it doesn't exist anymore for transportation i used to purchase like ttc pass okay and wherever i have to go it was so simple like once you purchase and you go a lot or like you can go anywhere and guys still i have those passes saved with me can you imagine i still haven't thrown any of them if i show it a lot of you will feel nostalgic sometimes i feel nostalgic then i open those old memories and uh, when it comes to health care it was not like today where you have to wait for 48 50 hours sometimes to get someone even to look at it was much better those days population was not high like immigration was not as high as it is now systems were old most of the things were paper based only from 2015 when express entry was introduced things moved much faster for canada but before that it wasn't like that it was much slower and crowd also used to be very less compared to nowadays nowadays you see a lot more cars on street lot more people but it was all together a different place people used to be very helpful during those days i remember once i fell on the streets uh, some people came to help me it may not be uh, the same case anymore things are changing and uh, unfortunately they are not changing towards good things are not like just they used to be before a lot of things have changed i must say things have become more expensive no doubt inflation has been too high like uh for groceries i hardly used to spend even 150 dollars a month and that used to be more than enough for me i used to cook on my own and utilities were included but over the years slowly slowly lot of things disappeared lot of things became much more expensive like i can't even imagine somebody who is who is earning let's say even 150 dollars a day can they afford like 2500 rent it's outrageous now it's really outrageous this wasn't the case before we did good work in immigration but probably we did not upscale other aspects that are required along with immigration be it housing healthcare to the extent we should have done things are changing guys and unfortunately i don't see them going towards the, the positive direction this is my honest feeling guys uh, what i see around people used to help each other but now it's all about exploitation like lot of people are being exploited here in canada i feel so bad for them especially international students i see lot of them are being exploited anyway i won't go much into those details but i do see a lot of things have been changed like uh, things were much better internally in 2012 when i came in compared to today in 
and now we are almost there in 2023 so let's see guys some other day i'll share more nostalgic feelings with you so thanks for watching this guys and please support my channel please do not go away without subscribing if you haven't done so thanks for watching